The power of institutionalized conformity is evident in the following example. In this video, you can hear the child proclaim that the so-called space rocket is actually falling down, as it truly is. Just listen. It's drifting. That's bad. It's doing good so far. Is it? Is that what always happens? Does it always go like that? Yep. It looks bad to me. It's in space, or is it? Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Rockets don't go to space. They arc and fall into the water, as you can see in numerous examples. The child gets it because he hasn't been programmed extensively enough to unquestioningly accept NASA. Instead, the adult won't allow himself to question his many years of space indoctrination, even though his eyes tell him otherwise. Here's from another video with a different child. The child keeps stating that the space shuttle rocket is going down, but the parent tries to explain it away as though the Earth is churning. Peter, for Sandy, is it turning or is the earth spinning? A rainbow. Sandy? It's not turning, the earth is spinning. Sandy? That's going straight up, it's just the earth is turning. We're moving away from it. Truly, the children were wiser than their parents who refused to see the obvious. The children could easily recognize that the rocket is not going into space, but the parents would not allow themselves to question it. What do your eyes tell you? Just look at this space shuttle launch. Does any person here really think that this space shuttle is in space? It's laughable. Do you understand what I mean by institutionalized conformity and how powerful it is and how we need to be wary of it? I need you to set aside your Pavlovian response, your conditioning, your group conformity, your NASA and other proclaimed expert authority figures, and just use your intellect here today, as an objective, reasonable person should. Flat Earth is founded on observable, testable, and repeatable experiments that you can do yourself.